A reading from the Bible. I'm going to read Romans 8, starting at verse 27, and just a little bit of a dedication and prayer for James Munder's father and his friends that are out there right now trying to take care of matters after his losses yesterday. And I hope you enjoy this. Um, let me let you watch him for just a few seconds. I'm going live. I'm going live. It is Tuesday <clears throat> and I'm going live from the car. All right. So settle down and uh, get your popcorn. And he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the spirit because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to those that love God and to them who are called according to his purpose. For whom he f did foreknow, he also predestinated to be con predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called; whom he called, then he also just them he also justified; whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemns? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God, and who also makes intercession for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither life, that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Rest in peace, our brother James Munder. God bless you all. Father, I lift up every broken heart. I lift up uh, James's dad, Gino, father, and uh, Hayes that's out there trying to take care of all his concerns and his business lord in jesus name i ask for your peace for all of his friends and family in the name of yeshua lord i thank you for your divine protection on the body of christ i thank you lord god for the for the wonderful testimony and witness and the joy that we got enjoying your servant james munder father the days that we were able to appreciate him and to see him we thank we thank you for that. We thank you for the blessing that he was in our lives, Lord God. And I thank you for convicting our hearts, Lord God, that we may not fall into areas, Father, where we might be part of our lives be destroyed or all of our lives be destroyed. Father, in Jesus' name, protect us. Let your shalom be upon us in the name of Yeshua. God bless you all. Shalom, shalom.